Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Spell Disc, an action roguelike centered around making wild combos and synergies with spells that I'm very excited to be checking out here today because that sounds right up my alley. Looks like there's even a survivor mode. I do kind of want to just see what the regular game is like here. I played a lot of survivor style games at this point, so another disappointing result. Send in the next one. Wake up by pressing a key. Cognition level is normal. Well, thank you. It's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Move to destination. Proceed. Okay. Left click to attack. Mash or hold to combo attack. Hold right click to charge attack. Okay, we got a dash as well. To dash... When you have enough stamina, space to dash when you have enough stamina, you can dash over pits, objects, or dangerous objects. Okay, implying like I could dash over, I, do I really want to? Yeah, I can dash over that too, okay. I was trying to figure out if that was meaning anything or what. Proceed to the next chamber. Here I'll provide some gems. Craft items using gems on crafting circles. Hold F to craft a spell with sufficient gems. Okay. Fireball. Shoot a fireball. One to open your inventory? Interesting. Items are equipped automatically if empty slots are available. Leftmost slot is your weapon spell slot. These are disc slots. These are spell slots. And these are artifact slots. Okay, I don't know what that means, but thank you. You'll generate mana over time for your spell equipped in the weapon spell slot. Okay. So is that my... How do I cast this one? Oh, left shift. It just was about to tell me. Cool. Hold F to craft an artifact. Artifacts will grant you powerful effects. Increased attack speed. Hold to craft a disc. Generates mana when a specific condition has been met. And activates the linked spell. 20 extra mana produced whenever an attack type is created. What? Okay. Space to select item. And we put it over here. Oh shoot! Whatever, whatever I did, it was uh, I was too ahead of the curve, and now I accidentally skipped something. Feels like I should be able to press escape to close that. Now the spell is linked to a disc. When the disc condition is met, it provides mana to the linked spell in order to cast. Right now, it requires you to perform the attack action multiple times. Gotcha. So whenever I attack enough times here. It just fires that off automatically. Okay, interesting. Last of my gems, try upgrading your spells or discs. Hold F to upgrade a spell or disc. The artifact will not be able to be upgraded. I mean, I'll admit I'm curious what upgrading this would mean. To trigger the stage 6 mana produce, this stage 480, 20% faster overheat reduction, what on earth? Hold to recycle a gem back, an item back into a gem. It's not an efficient way of getting gems, but useful for an extra quick gem. Okay. Okay, so the overheat, it's like after a certain amount of time, it would fill up. You can hold down R to change all items that are not yet picked up. Ooh, just, we can just do that? 100% increase last combo attack damage. Lava tread. Create a cascading four exploding mag... Create cascading four exploding magma on floor. Okay. Whenever a pierce type is finished. Whenever a pierce type combo. So that sounds like something we don't have anything to do with right now. So I guess, can I... I can put that on my my shift, so I can do that still. I feel like, um... What was it? Space? 
the the, the control choices are a little bit uh, wild. Oh, that goes in a completely random spot. Never mind, man. All right. Next. Activate the elevator to complete the tutorial. Your items will be removed. Understandable. What on earth? The root chamber. I mean, it's... All right. Yeah. Hey. You, you, I guess you just had... You got it, right? It's the law now. Uh, 50 mana, damage 50, stagger, drop thunder on a target, icy vortex, a mass of cold water that chases the target. That sounds kind of fun. Do we, we can't have both? Doesn't look like it's letting me have both for right now. Okay, and then what do we got over here? Danger level. Doesn't look like I can do anything right now. That makes sense. Recall the tutorial. All right, let's get out of here. So we have this water ball, which will chase down enemies, apparently. Whoop. Is that gloom? Vile plume? One second. Okay. So we can throw a, a fireball. Does that go where we're... It goes where we're moving, not where we're pointing. That's the problem. Oof. Okay, well, we can we can keep that in mind. Right now, we have, you know, it's early. It's easy stuff. Got a potion that we theoretically don't need. I, I mean, now that we know that it goes where we're moving, that is quite helpful, but also... I don't feel like it'll ever be exactly what I'm going to be looking for. Zoop on these movements. Get out of here, punk. It feels like weirdly... Ice to control? Create a spell. What are we missing? We Can we do this? We don't have a disc, so there's not really much of a reason. We need a trigger first. First damage disc. 141.6% mana production for every damage dealt to a full health target. So is it when it hits 100%, does that mean it triggers? Another spell. I'll create an artifact, sure. 1% increased damage per 20 gem. So that just seems like a our currency. You know? Understood. Next. So full health target. Yeah, no, that is 100% the case. So if we hit a full health target, we fill up the meter like crazy. But yeah, we really have to make sure we turn back around... I guess I'll check the settings. Is there a, you know, like... Eh, nope. There's an easy mode. Take half damage, just because. Why not? Spell details. Uh, yeah, I would say definitely, like, in a, any game where you have that kind of whoop thing going on, like the... Uh, di Ooh, why was I not... Uh, I guess I just generated a lot of mana, but not all of it. Oh, my word. Where you have the, like, aim towards cursor or aim towards direction. Feels like it's usually a good idea to have a setting for that bare minimum. Uh, I feel like we need a new spell. It's also a bit cheaper. These get more and more expensive. Crate explosion of eight void gems. It has a 20% decreased mana cost. So I guess that's the thing. How much, what's the mana cost on this? This costs 80 mana. This generates 141 Point six percent. I'm, I'm, I'm. If this is eighty percent, like if we can look at it that way, then that seems really good. I'll just keep that where it is right now. Interesting. So we can pick these up, but I don't know why, quite yet. Right now, I think, like, step one is just get the hell in there and start smacking. Okay. My eyes. My beautiful, beautiful eyes. Okay, that does count. Good. I was wondering if I could hit them for the first time with this move or not. Zoop. 
Get body. Okay, so we're missing... Could upgrade that. It seems really good, but on, like, an extended boss fight or something, you know, we're obviously going to have more problems there. Hmm. To 20. I think we get another disc and we get another trigger for now. Whenever a charged attack type is finished, you produce 45 mana. Shoot a fast fireball. Seems good. So this should go into the automatic spot. Interesting. Ooh. So it just goes in a random spot, huh? That's the weird thing, is that it does seem to be going in a completely random direction. That's the hard thing to, uh, to deal with here. We definitely want to be uh, running around using charged attacks, it looks like, because then we're going to be charging up two different spells at the same time. If we, like, hit them for the first time, we'll be casting our magic spell. Whoop, the water blast or whatever the hell. Trying to get... Whoop! In there, spam as much deeps as I can. A decent amount. Oh, that's damage. That looks like an experience globe or something to me. You know what I'm saying? That looks like um, something you would use to heal yourself in Metroid. Is That's what that looks like to me. We should get another artifact, I suppose. For every 40 gems spawned, create a staggering nova. Maybe we should... Um... Do that. Eight void gems. Sure. So where does the explosion go? Interesting. It goes at the, uh, actually up there where the kind of like charge spell ends. Okay. Trying to, okay. It's very destructive. We're also creating so many gems for what it's worth. Not feeling strongly compelled to use my, like, shift spell here. We just have too much uptime needed on this bad boy. Okay, I've created a monster. Okay, uh, expand slots. We could... Do we need a new spell? I'll make a disc. We could always upgrade something, of course. Fire Affliction. Bonus mana production for every Fire Affliction applied. I could re-roll it. Does this... Affliction this stage 30. Increased stagger. Decreased mana cost. So that's why that's going like so extra crazy fast. Let's uh, re-roll it. Surely we can't just keep doing it, right? 500% mana production for each stun? I mean, that sounds good. This has increased stagger. You know what? Since I'm not going to be casting that on command, let's see if we can maybe... Maybe we stun? Maybe I stun? I don't know. Yeah, we definitely stun. I thought, I thought that that might count as a stagger. Okay. I have created chaos. Absolute chaos. That guy go. Oh my god. I That was not me trying to pick it up. That was me just walking into it. Go, go, go. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a very neat, like, spell crafting simulator right now, is, is what it is. And it's like... It feels better to control than you would think, is kind of what I would say. Rooster boots. Increase move speed. Increases more with other rooster artifacts. Pillars of fire. 50 mana production whenever a target appears? That seems really good. 
So I'm actually missing... That's it up here. Okay. Oh, God. So it takes a lot to, to fix one of those up. So... 45 whenever a charge attack is finished. Is this seriously 50 whenever a target appears? That seems unreal. Also, I gotta turn the music up. It's so quiet. Alright, uh, this is a tough choice because I can always just go for upgrades as well, you know? 500 for an entire extra slot. We could get another artifact. God, I really want that to be able to be closed that way. Let's get an artifact. Just increased uh, dash stamina. I mean, 100% works for me. The question is really like 500% mana production for each stun given to a target. That's confusing to me right now as far as like what is percentage mean like percentage of what of the spell that it's connected to because then five should cast okay five did cast i think over the course of time there okay that's invincible Zoop. i feel like these void crystals are there to like trigger effects that would otherwise only be triggerable by um picking up money which is a really clever idea, if so, or I just made a really clever idea. Oh my god. Out of nowhere. One of the two. Heal me up, thank you. Damage and pierce damage. I don't know... Any of these pierce? That's pierce. Could be alright. Slashing claws. On the target. Physical slash. It got an increased damage. I wonder if those are randomized. Okay. Bonus mana produced whenever spell spell type is finished. We have lots of spell types. Like a lot. But I also don't have any more slots. It's going to take quite a bit to get another. I could recycle something if I'm not super feeling it. I do like that. I feel like I'm going to be honest that I don't like to I don't like to play this way. Like, whether or not I could or I should, yada yada. I'll grab this because it's super obvious what I do with it, you know? I just pop that here. Whether or not these are connected to these, I actually don't think they are. I think they just happen to be down there. I think these are all in general. I don't think it's just, like, only this column. I think that's a, a visual confusion there. I'm also going to probably chill with the money we have. For a second, I think I might try and get another slot to get some big stupid chain reaction memes going. Oh my god. Zoop. Yeah, my, really my biggest critique so far is like aiming towards movement instead of cursor. Okay. Oh, that cancels it. I'll just blast you then. Bye-bye. <laughs> we have 500. Do I wish to do it? I don't even have a spell to put there. I guess I'll just do it. I'll do it and I'll put this disc in for the time being. It's not going to do anything, but I, I want to kind of see, is it really going to be filling up like crazy? Oh my god. <laughs> Watch out for the spikes. Okay, smack them. Send hell. Alright. What is that? What was that scream? Hopefully this money don't go away. I don't think it does. Alright, we don't have anything on our ship. Do we know we do not? Good. I would have been sad if I... Could have had something else. Next floor is a shop. Ooh, okay. Fine, 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 fine. Fine, 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 fine. We wait then. We don't just go. Because we can be specific. Spark Ray. 
Shoot lightning laser. Increase damage. Increase elemental affliction. Continuous slash scroll. Continuous type spells and slash types are considered the same type. Oh, there's some silly things. Increase mana production per second while gazing on target while we're looking at an enemy? We generate mana just by looking at a man? Are you for real? I do need a spell, though. So I will buy this. It's a tier 2 for what it's worth. Whenever an enemy appears, we will start to generate Spark Ray. 90 mana. So when two enemies show up, we summon a Spark Ray in theory. How much is this? Heal 20%? Sure. Alright. So we're going to be fighting a... Oh, now we're fighting a boss. See, this is the thing. We do much better against... Oh, he's a slime. He's going to split. We do much better when there is um, a lot of small enemies. Which is why I am happy to see that this is a slime. Yeah, charging against this guy is not... Oh, God. Yeah, I also hate the red flash. Those are the, those are the minor things. They're like really easy settings change things, you know? Gotta get ready. Go. Get the hell out. I made an amazing build for uh, dealing with crowds. Okay, so start running. Whoop. I want to know. How many times did this trigger? Did it trigger? 20, 30, 18, 19. So the stun disc is our best trigger. I wouldn't have guessed. Ooh, that was a close one. I don't need another spell. I do have another artifact slot. I could take another spell and it wouldn't be bad. What do we got? Pierce and continuous are the same type. Okay. I don't know if I have any continuous, do I? Good, that, that means that Spearman's Belt will apply to our Icy Vortex instead. Or in addition, rather, sorry. Very cool. There's a lot of really neat systems going on at play here. I should be seeing lots of free lightning. And I am, I was. Does, you know, it has a built-in, like, little cooldown, so it can't just Giga Giga spam. And look at that, the stun is overheated. It's triggering so much that it's like, all right, man, cool down a sec, cool down a sec. When that red meter is full, that means we just, we did too much. I could get a spell for my shift, but I don't have any downtime to use my shift ability anyways, because we should always be charging. ABC. Whoop. Do a little smacking. Because, yeah, we do extra stuff when enemies summon, extra stuff when enemies have their first hit taken. Oh, God. A lot of stuff to reward hitting enemies that are just summoning. Okay, go up here. Is there any way to, like, change up our, um, our charge spell or anything? I don't think that there is a way to. Yeah, I gotta think about how do I handle big health enemies. That's Our build doesn't do anything great for that yet. Whenever a player dashes summon an explosive dummy. Whenever you dash through a target, generate 34 mana. Very cool. Hmm. I think I might I think I might start to upgrade stuff. Mana produce the stage 6400 faster overheat reduction. We should probably be putting like our better spell on that. But I don't know if this is this has 45% increased stagger and I think that that's why this is like triggering itself very well, right? Because this is increased chance to stun. More or less, right? Whatever that means. It seems like it's... Enemies get slightly staggered, and then when the stagger bar fills up, I'm assuming they're stunned. So, therefore, this is a stunned 
a stun thing that produces a stun thing. You know what I'm saying? So that I think that's going to be very helpful. So what's the next? Uh, 1,500 mana, 2,400 mana. The gem bomb seems to be doing a lot, though. 5,900, 3,521. It's doing more mana even though, or more damage even though it wasn't triggered as much. I think we'll go with that. And what was it to upgrade? F. Decreased mana cost. Let's do it. Even more, okay. That's great. Getting a lot of overheat reduction. Sounds really, really nice. Increased mana production. All right. 30% increased damage. Oh, my word. We've done some silly, silly stuff. I guess I'll just... At this point, I'll just take this. Wacky? All right, maybe I'll look into putting that on something else. Okay. We should be seeing even more fire than normal. We got a healthy man. Smack him a little bit. Get in, get out. Can we do something with the barrel? Oh, it's an explosive barrel. Gotcha. But yeah, you can definitely see that you, ooh, the Minotaur type men are lasting a lot longer. Hello, you. Come here. Inviso Bill? Inviso Bill, too? I think we had both. Create a disc, create a spell. At 400 bucks? What am I most likely to replace right now? I don't know. I also don't know what the background's about. If that's like a tier or something like that, I don't know. Show me a new... Show me nothing. I don't I don't want to grab... I want to save my money and I want to actually just... Um, let's upgrade more. I, and I'm going to, you know what, since I don't think we're going to be in too much danger, I will wait. I didn't think that that was going to clear so fast. All right, just vibe a bit. We're cool. Ooh, we're cooling down. I'm in danger after all. Okay. Yeah, the enemy spawn one is triggering a lot more than you'd think. <laughs> it's almost like there's enemies spawning. All the time. Uh, what is that, a heal? Or poison aura? Sure looks like a poison aura to me. So do a murder upon him. Alright, let's look at some stats. This did 5,900. This did less damage. Mana produced 1,600. Huh. Why did this one do so much? Why did it do so much? Thousand. This shouldn't have done anything. Like, I know that it's spawning a lot. It's 1,600 mana. 13 triggers. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I mean, I guess I can just keep upgrading it. If I don't have to question, I can just do it. Increase damage, decrease mana cost. Upgrade that a little bit. What is that? 150. Doesn't does it not tell you until it shows up there? Decrease mana cost, increase mana production. Sure. Okay, that's a. Uh, I wish we could choose if we we're going to be getting the mana production or uh, overheat, because clearly we just need more overheat. It's producing plenty of mana. We just needed to overheat quicker, because, like, look at that. Okay. And by overheat quicker, I mean cool off quicker. So the gems also definitely go away. I was busy looking at that. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. I don't know what that means, but I don't like it. It's a shield. 
The symbols being on the aura is really cool, but it also does mean you have to wait for the aura to show up all the way to know what it's going to be. Exploded. All right. Charged creation disc. Whenever you create a charged attack type. I'll admit that we should probably do that instead. If we replace this one with that. You need to lightning status damage. Gain 30% damage while lightning status. Well, we have it. Gain a lightning affliction while charge attack. That mean like this does a lightning affliction or something like that? I don't know. If we get this and we replace here, that does make it so that we will be better in like a prolonged fight. But this has done so much. 1600. Probably was the least though. Yeah, it definitely was the least. If it's the least and that's in a multi-target scenario, then I'm going to say nah. Blunt, blunt, pierce, charged explosion. Gotcha. Anything? Should we upgrade? I think, again, same deal where we're not, like, in so much danger. Oh, I'll wait. We're not in so much danger that I feel the need to do it right now. Like, I'll wait. I'll examine my new system for mana and see how I feel. Okay, I definitely feel like we're creating a large amount of these orbs. Like a larger amount of orbs than uh, ever before, for sure. Okay. Don't like these eyeballs. You get out of here. Oh, I thought you were... That was going to be your first hit. Go, 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 go. <laughs> All right. Now we'll check some stats. 9,500. Yeah, that sounds about right. Damage 2,000, but it's also a level 1 spell. 2,385. That makes sense. These are exactly the same. Good. That means everything's working correctly. This does so much. It has no affliction. I guess because it's not like an elemental type. But I don't think that we care. I think that would be if we had a trigger that required, like, a fire affliction. Something like that. So. I don't know. We'll spread the love. This one's nuts, though. Fully upgraded. Alrighty. Zoop. Zoop. That's some chaos. Get that little mana. These are like slow spots or something. Somebody meow? Somebody meow me? There's a freaking rat, man. Yeah, we, we're pretty much nearly constantly maxed out in mana in everything but our charges. And I am now maxed out in even my charges. Any desire to add anything now? Not necessarily. We could keep upgrading. 200 to get that upgrade. I want overheat reduction. Let's go. It'd be cool. Maybe there's a way to, like, guarantee it, you know? Oh, my lord. If there was a way to be, like... All right, if you maybe like at a shop or something, it may already be a thing, but like guarantee that an upgrade, it happens to be overheat or, you know, fill in the blank. I'm kind of waiting to save up for a new slot at this point. I think that, I think I'm pretty satisfied with uh, my business. Kind of don't really, really want to spend spells when there's no one to be hit by them, like more than normal. In a, in a game like this. I'll tell you, I definitely don't want to get rid of that extra stamina artifact. That thing I'm loving. Oh, that didn't go. 
Okay. Zoot. Yeah. God, this game is like, it's just really fun. Seeking fire. A seeking homing fireball. Cast an equipped spell whenever you completely charge an attack. Uh, yeah, yeah. Does it have to be the spell above? I mean, if it's the spell above, I don't think it does. It's weird. We get a new one. All of these seem so... Like, slot in, like, independent. Except this one, I, I could see being slot dependent, but... It's unclear whether or not it is or not. I don't think it is. The next floor is a shop rip. We could have known to. Explosion slash type of the same. I don't care. Hailstorm. I don't know if I would care or not. Uh, 66% mana produced for each cold damage dealt. Is it like a percentage of the cold damage or what? I think that that might be the case. Uh... Oh, we got another boss, of course, right? We got a fireman. Only shell. Go. Go. I'm glad we have all these dashes. That would have been very frustrating without it, I'm sure. Just keep on spamming our charge spells. We really like those. Now, this guy's cool looking. Ay, ay, ay. Care. You can definitely see down at the bottom. You know what we should do? We should have another charge. Can we even... No, we can't do it mid. Oh, no. Mid fight. I'm on fire? We should have another, like, disc ready for a, for a boss. That's what we should do. We should have a boss disc and, like, get rid of this and then swap it. Because you'll know when you're fighting a boss. That's actually really... That's on me. That's really cool. Okay. So we got that. We, uh, we can get another spell, so we get a disc then. Whenever a physical type thing is created. I think we have... Yeah, Gem Bomb. We actually make a lot of physical type things. Winter River. And by that I mean we only have one thing that does it, but it does a lot of it. Like, that's our biggest source of damage. Yeah, that's our biggest source of damage. Even on a single target boss fight. I'm frozen in place. I'm stuck in place. What have I done? No! What have you done to me? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no! The game's not out yet. Credit where credit's due. This is, uh. This is going to just be a sad way to move slowly towards our own demise. Oh man. Is there something I can do? Shift, click, shift, A, W. I'm pressing literally every button on the keyboard, everything on the mouse. I can open up escape and that's about it. All I can do is slowly accept my demise. Oh no. I can't be too mad. It's not, it's not even freaking out yet, man. But I gotta say, I really like it. Kill me. Kill me if you dare. Oh my goodness. And we're gonna live at one? Send me to hell. Let's go see what the... Oh, I'm invincible too! I guess we go at that point. We Wait. Oh. Okay, there's something up, up with just this... If I never cast... My charge spell, am I fine? It happens when he blocks it. When that guy blocks it. Where is it? You. Is that what it is? Like, nope, it's just that guy in general. Sorry, I'm just trying to limit test here. 
I mean, I'll, I'll just try and get out of this room without it, and we'll see if maybe it's... It'd be cool if it was, like, room independent. Like, the problem goes away afterwards. We are clearly not built for this, though. We are built for uh, spamming our charge blasts. Okay. I mean, the fact that I, am, I still have a build that does work, even though my two big spells ain't doing their thing is pretty cool. Enemy killed with an elemental affliction on them spreads the affliction to nearby enemies. 110 mana production whenever you step on a circle that is randomly generating. I mean, I'll grab it for, like, a boss fight or something. How much did this produce? Decent amount. Yeah, this does never... I mean, yeah, checks out. Huh. So it's hard to say if I necessarily want to go for too much of that or not. It's at 500 damage, but it's also not upgraded very much. It does a lot of the elemental affliction. So I think learning what that exactly means would be something. It doesn't look like there's a thing here to learn more about it. All right, so it's at 500. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll upgrade it. I'll upgrade it once and we'll see what it does on the next level. Let's see if we can cast our, our ability now or if we're ruined. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's something, um, something stopping us. I'm going to see if it's that. It is. Interesting. Wait. Okay, more science. Sorry, apologies, but more, more science. Is it that? Okay. Gotcha. Very, very, very interesting. Okay, so just get rid of it. That's easy enough. It sucks because, like, that's really good. But... I'd prefer to actually be able to play. And now we, we have figured out where the bug lies. Okay. I did take a lot of uh, damage. Ooh, but who's to say I wouldn't have taken more if I was just doing a whole bunch of charging. I just wanted to see if we have to charge up that much. That's what I was testing right there. Hmm. We don't need to charge up the whole way to get mana. But it definitely gives us more. Okay, so we need a new, um, need a new artifact at this point. I guess I'll just, uh, as good as that is, I'm going to recycle it. When you dash, summon an explosive dummy. Whoop. It's got that same circle. I don't know if I... I should re-roll it. I, it's the thing is, like, re-rolling is generally more going to be for, like, when you know what's going on in the game and you're like, yeah, I know I don't want... I know for sure I don't want that because I know what exists. I don't know what exists in the pool right now. Okay. Zoop. Get that... And also, maybe the dummy's really good. Man, give me a give me a setting for turning the red flashes off, and give me a setting for aiming towards mouse instead. So I did 300. This is really not a very impressive spell right now for me. This is generating 1,200. It's it's not nothing. I feel like, yeah, I think we need a new spell. Is this a good one? I don't know. Ooh, it's a physical thing. Wait. Surround the caster with spinning swords. Interesting. I'll tell you what. I'll re-roll it. Oh, we have one re-roll left. Gotcha. 
Sticky static. Six, six delayed electric. Seeking fire. I like the idea of a homing thing. On those random spells. No dice. Excuse me. We can maybe get another slot. Okay. We're getting near the end here. Whoop. Oh, mama. Run. Okay. Just wanted to get back over to this corner here. And start a blasting. Anyway, I started blasting. Oh, boy. It's a lot of projectiles starting to flow here. You. Okay. I don't know what this obelisk is, but uh, stop it. Oh, my. Oh, my hell. Yeah. Not being able to aim exactly in the right spot. Spooky, spooky. Any health around? Nine hundred. Okay, so that did pretty good. Nine hundred should be. Eh, no, it's not very good. Yeah, there's something up with this one. Is it about the overheat? Shouldn't be. Twenty-four triggers, two thousand mana. It's not that much less mana to be doing half as much damage. These aren't even upgraded, for what it's worth. And they're, like, such a major source of my DPS. Let's do that just for fun. Okay, so if I step on that, I generate... Oh, God. Oh, God. If you get lucky. And we also have a bunch of dashes. What a cool thing that is. I do have to go find it, though. Not that I need to, actually, because there's nothing there. We don't have any spells in that slot. What if there's a heal spell? I feel like that would actually be where oh, things truly start to get broken. I think I'm in danger. Because these are enemies that don't like it. Don't like me standing still. They're kind of just like, screw you, dude. You want to stand still? Yeah, right. Charging attack provides 25 mana to all discs. When hitting the bell... The bell with an attack type. Uh, why don't you hit that bell? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button. I need to get yeah, now. Uh, I'll get the glove. Is, is it gonna ruin me? Maybe. I don't even have a spell for this, but Let's grab one. Worm caller. Summon a minion that explodes on death. I'll tell you what. I don't even care if it's good. So whenever we step on that disc, we summon a worm. Maybe. If it generates enough mana, which it probably should. Okay, run. Hit the disc. Oh, okay, we can't dash through it. Whoa, man! We cannot dash through. It will not count. Okay, I hate those guys. Them's ruined me. Okay, I think we need to uh, just accept that a little tap shoot for it is going to have to be good enough for these guys. God, he's so fast, though. What a jerk. Stop it. Yeah, he he's... He's built to counter my thing, basically. So that's why you're going to... You can't just lean directly all the way into one concept like that. Because then you'll have one enemy like this that really does counter you. I can't dash fast enough. There we go. Good God. Yeah, those guys ruin me. Absolutely ruin me. 900. I mean, that's actually a... Seems like a pretty good amount of mana. All things considered. It's maxed. Go ham. Go ham. Should we save up for the shop, maybe? I mean, if we live. Oh. 
Less teleporty boyos, please. Looks like we might actually have had our wish. Whoa, what the hell was that? Just uh, all of a sudden I looked and my screen went. Was that the spin to win, man? There's a healing potion down there. Okay, summon a million. Okay. What is... Yeah, what was that that procked it? Okay, that I hate. That's the wizard lady apprentice thing. Okay. We should be fine now. Just go. Just go. Go. Yikes. I'm in pain. 1,200. It's just... Not an impressive amount. It could be because, like, a lot of these piercing ones are doing a lot more damage. Hmm. 20% increased damage and 20% increased pierce damage. Eh. It's hard to really say. There's so many moving parts with our, our setup that it's just like, well... What's really the best thing we have? Okay. Oh, there's an another circle. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. So there's upgrades that happen to things that are not even listed as well. That's great intel. I'm gonna I'm gonna die in this room. I'm telling you that now. Zoop. Oh, you jerk. Get out! Get out! Get the health. Do the summon. Oh, that's my fireball. It just was coming towards me. What do we got here? Chance increase, crit chance increase with the, uh, the rooster artifact. Converging ice crystals, mana production per second while you're walking. That should count as walking. That seems good. That seems like a really good thing to have. But also, what are we at? Okay, if we can last, if we can live this room, we can save our money for some potion action. I don't, that ain't happening. Oh, and we got my enemies, my mortal enemies as well. Let's walk around, let's get the summons to... Okay, never mind. God, I hate that we can't dash through them. Woo. Okay. Okay. God, we have to, like, really bait them. We have to do it a, just a... This whole thing a different way. Which I think is good. I think... I, I like that. I think that's good that we're rewarded for, um... Ugh! Handling things in a different way. The fun thing is we really don't need, even need to hit with our charge spell. We just need to make sure that it's going in the right general direction there. Ah, is that fire cone the thing that was ruining my life before? I think it may well have been. Just, again, just need to press them. General direction will be helpful. I can't believe I lived. Next floor is the shop. I'm waiting for the shop. Just give me health. There might have been health on the ground even, but... Eh. Oh, it's so expensive. Huh. Oh, boy. Chain lightning status gives... I mean, I don't really need to... Let's think about for a boss I don't know how many enemies are gonna appear I mean if I can if I can upgrade in combat ooh baby this, this is it right hold on yeah theoretically this is it but I have a hundred health 
I'm stuck. Assassin Captain. Is, how did they know that the enemy that I hated the most for this build was the assassins? Oh my dang. Okay. There's enough enemies spawning that I feel like we can use the uh, enemy spawn. Oh, trigger. Okay. Go, 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 Spam. Spam. No. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. Oh. That comes out of nowhere, man. You gotta be ready as hell for that. All right. That's like a more fair version of that one attack in Tiny Rogues. Oh, God. Back it up. I think she's going to do that. No. I want to get over to the circle. Do my summons. Get out. Do my summons. Oy, oy, oy. Blast him. God, that that's like the most simple attack, but it's also the one I'm most scared of. The one where she just like... Does a dagger strike towards you? No. That one. Oh, no. God dang it, dude! I'm gonna die! Not like this! I could just keep on running around and trying to summon my explodey boys. Honestly seems to be fine. Oh, oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. Uh, okay. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. I'm two health. Two health. Oh, don't tell me that's not the end of a run. Don't tell me that's not the end of a run. Oh, don't tell me that's not the end of a run. Oh, or is that, is that like the pre-game boss before the actual boss? Oh, no, that sure seems like... Empire, thanks for your service. What? Freedom at last. No? Oh, cool. Wait, okay. There's some music that I'm that's so familiar here. All right, really, really neat. That's danger level zero is what that is too. Uh, back we go. So that is just one starting. W oh, oh. Locked, complete the main game with this weapon equipped. What, to unlock what? To unlock the weapon? Okay, so there are actually... This is huge. There's... The fact that there's fundamentally, like, completely different weapons and attacks changes everything. Start with nine item slots, decreased health and movement speed. And the... Okay, so these are... What the heck? All spells are instead... So these are like classes. Interesting. Heal 10 on level up. Gotcha. So all of these are like different classes. Can you only have one equipped? You can only have one equipped. Gotcha. So it's not actually like a full meta progression thing. Like a... Oh, I see the word upgrade. No! We were so close! We were so close! Betrayed! It's still good. I mean, clearly you can... Here's what I like. You can beat difficulty level zero without it. 
That's a great sign. And then there's all these difficulty levels, and you can climb up. Who knows? My my hope is that the highest difficulty is balanced around the highest amount of meta progression. That's usually all I ask if they're going to slap that in there, because why not? Uh, that's usually all I ask for myself, for, for my desires. Ashen Blast. There's so many cool things going on here. Like, really, really cool. So you need a weapon in order to cast any spells, it looks like. I do want to know... Plane? What? Highest danger level cleared. There's a different... There's a different biome? And it has a list of all of the different, like, characters. And different weapons. There's so much here. This is really cool. Hey, if you guys want more of this, please do let me freaking know. It would not take a lot of convincing. I don't know how much is in it at this moment because this is a demo. So do keep that in mind. But it's going to be coming out in apparently a week here. Uh, very, very neat. Check it out with the link in the top description. My name is Retro Mesh. Cover any games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you. This game is really good. And I'll see you next time. Bye.